Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Ferro Mini RTA by um, Digiflavor and um, a Rip Trippers project. So I'm really excited about this. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we are with the Ferro Mini, a Rip Trippers project from Digiflavor. And this is the box that it comes in. It's got Rip Trippers signature. It comes with these little stickers here from Digiflavor. Um, digiflavor.com and it's got their social media and then on the other side digiflavor.com um, if you want to pause the video that's fine this is a 24 millimeter diameter um, RTA it does come with the 810 and 510 drip tip included it says interchangeable decks um, right now I haven't found any but they're supposed to be coming out with interchangeable decks right now it does have the clamp style single coil or um type of deck it does come in uh it does have a two milliliter or a five milliliter juice capacity um so it does come with the two different classes so we're going to go over that and then you've got your scratch and sniff and all that stuff so we'll go ahead and go into it and we open it up and here we are we've got the rta right here this is the five milliliter glass and then it does come already pre-installed with the two milliliter glass um, a lot of people like the two milliliter because it, it makes it a little bit less compact and it's not as tall as it would be with the five milliliter glass. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it this way um, because, well, it looks stealthier. It looks shorter. I like the look of it just as is. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and see what else is in the box. In the box, we do have the user manual here. Um, and it does um, give you some pictures and some specifications and different types of drip tips and things like that. It tells you exactly um, how to fill it um, and the top cap and things like that. Um, this is actually a picture of how the deck is supposed to actually come off. So the deck is actually the 510, not the base. So when they do come out with the optional decks, you can actually just unscrew it from the base and then put in the new deck and you're ready to go. But since we don't have any optional um, decks, we're not going to be doing that. And then, of course, it's got like your customer service information and then the other languages. And then in this box here, you've actually got your um, tool. This is to actually take the tank apart so that you can actually change out the glass. It does have your extensions so that you can make it taller. Um, and then it also has a 510 drip tip as well as the 810 um, goon style drip tip as well already included in red I'm gonna leave the drip tip that it comes with because I kind of actually like that color better than the red um, but let's go we'll go ahead and try it just in case because I want I do want to see how it looks the 510 I'm not really into 510 drip tips but I do like the fact that it does come with it so that if you do like 510s you can actually do that and then it does come with this tri-tool, um, some O-rings and extra grub screws, some springs, um, or regular screws, not grub screws, pardon me. Um, so it's got the extra Phillips head screwdriver screws, the tri-tool. I know how to speak English. I really do, people. <laughs> okay, and then it's got those springs, which are for the spring-loaded clamps, which I do, do, do like from... Um, all of the Pharaohs and that spring loaded clamp has got me kind of spoiled um, for liking spring loaded. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and put that aside. This is the drip tip that it comes with. It's actually called the Extra Thick 18, 810 Rip Tip. It's a PEI drip tip and it literally just slides right over. I kind of like the feel of that. Um, it reminds me of a donut though. Um, <laughs> But yeah, I do like the feel of it. Um, it's nice and sturdy. It looks like it would be squishy, squishy, but it's not. And then this is the red drip tip if you want to switch it out to the red. I just think the red is just a little bit too much for me um, personally right now um, because I'm not color coordinating it. So there you go. You've actually got the pharaoh symbol right there. And then on the other side, it does say pharaoh. And then you right here is actually the... Um, Juice flow control, which you can close and open. Um, let me turn it right. If I could turn it right, there we go. Then it's closed, and then you can open it right there. And then you've got the airflow, which is the same on both sides. And it does have like this clicking. Can you hear that? So it does click into place, um, and you can actually adjust it to your liking. And then we do have, it is a top fill, which I am all about that top fill. So there it is, pretty big 
um, holes there to go ahead and fill your e-liquid. You never want to do it down the center, just down the sides. This is actually where that little key would go so that you can unscrew it to take it apart if we were going to do that. And then we can take apart the, well, let's go ahead and look at the bottom first. The bottom has um, Rip Tripper Signature. I don't know if you can see that. Rip Tripper Signature. And then it, um, it does have a serial number manufactured by Digi Flavor. And the pin does protrude enough that you can actually use this on a hybrid. It is a very, very protruding 510 pin. And then you take out the deck. And this is the deck here. Here is the barrel. The barrel is very, very, um, dome shaped so that's good that should it's supposed to be excellent for flavor that's actually what brings out the flavor is having that dome shape especially with the airflow and things like that so we've got that and then this is the deck again it is a clamp style deck and i'm going to show you that right now so when you actually um release the screws and you start unscrewing them i've cotton on my nail oh my deck is a little bit loose let's go ahead and show you that okay so for the in interchangeable deck, since it's already loose and I gotta tighten it anyway, you would just unscrew it like this. Your 510 will come out, if you notice. And this is actually how you would um, change it out. So when they do come out with the optional decks, all you have to do is just screw it in there and there you go. Um, the deck itself is the 510, not the um, casing for it. So there we go, and put that down. I will tell you right now, I think this is kind of loose. Um, I'm not liking how loose this airflow is, um, and that's just by just playing with it, but we'll go further into that. So again, let's go ahead and do the spring loaded. So I'm just gonna unscrew the screw. When I unscrew the screw as it's coming up, you're gonna actually see that it's lifting. So you don't actually have to force it. Let me zoom in just a little bit more. There we go. Ooh, that's really zoomed in. Okay, so as you're unscrewing this, the deck is lifting, see, or the clamp is lifting. So you can easily side, slide your um, leads right in there. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen those up because we are gonna be doing a build on this. And I'm gonna do the other side. As you can see, it's also lifting. And I do like that because if you notice, watch, see? spring loaded, see, pops right back into place. So um, that's what the extra, uh, springs are for so that you can actually put them in here if they do go bad. Um, I actually had the original Ferro RDA and my springs never did go bad. So I, I mean, I guess there could be a defect, but I don't think you'll really need them to be honest with you. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on here so that you can take a closer look. There we go, okay. So here again is the deck, nice and close so that you can see it. We do have the Phillips head screws. And then these are actually your wicking channels and you've got one on each side. You're gonna be laying the cotton in there, not shoving it in there so that you don't get any dry hits and you don't want it to be um, too, too little of cotton because you also don't want leaking. You do wanna be careful because right down there, that those little holes there, that's actually your airflow. So if you are dripping e-liquid straight down, it will come out your airflows, which are on the sides. Oh, now you wanna be tight. No, it's still loose. Okay, so that's where the airflows are. So you wanna be careful, especially when priming up your coils, which I do a lot. You wanna make sure that you're not priming them up too much so that the um, e-liquid does not go down into there and come out your airflow. Sometimes in cases like this, honestly, I will get a little bit of seepage, but it's not that it's dripping or that it's leaking. It's just a little bit from when I'm priming up the coils. So we're gonna go ahead and install a coil. I'm actually gonna be using these. These are uh, Fuse Clapton's by Coil Clout. For two, it would be ohming at about a 0.16 to 0.18 for the set. Um, I'm only gonna be using one. And I did um, bend the leg out a little one, one extra um, time because of the fact that you know, they are regular coils. Oops, let me move this over so that you can see. See, they're already in one direction like that. So I did go ahead and bend it out so that it looks like the one that I just dropped on the floor. So it looks like this. So see how it looks? I have one leg going one way and one leg going the other way. So there we go. So we're gonna go ahead and install those. Let me get my little cutters. Where are my cutters? And my little screwdriver because we know that I like installing mine with the screwdriver. 
which I put over here so I wouldn't lose it. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and set it in my screwdriver so that I have something to hold it. And I do like it when it's facing to the bottom on the bottom. So the bottom is gonna go in here and then we're gonna put the other one in there. I'm just gonna hold it in place so that I can screw that down. Let me bring it closer for you. There we go. Can you see it? Yeah. And I'm just gonna start screwing the first one down and then I'll place the other one. I'm trying not to get my hand in the way, but it's kind of difficult. I don't know how else to do this so that my hand doesn't get in the way. There we go. And just screw that down. I'm just gonna go ahead and position this a little bit more that way. And just hold that there while I screw down the other one, which that one you will be able to see because my hand will still be in the way. I really need those longer screwdrivers. I had one, but it like, I guess it's stripped because it doesn't really tighten too much. So there we go. And then once you get those tight, nice and tight, then we can position the coil and clip the leads. So being that it is so high, if you notice, I'm actually gonna be bringing it down because I do want it close to the airflow, not, not touching, but I do want it close. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put my screwdriver in there and I'm just gonna pull it down. There we go. I wanna make sure that the coil is not hitting any of the walls because you don't want metal on metal. So it's not hitting that wall and it's not hitting this wall. It's actually sitting pretty good. I'm just gonna move it around a little bit there. And there we go. So now I can go ahead and clip my leads and I'm just gonna do it, oops, we'll lead there as close to the edge as I can. Right there. And then we'll go ahead and clip this one right there. It is a very, very, very easy deck to build on. I was very impressed with the Faro itself, um, the RDA, so I'm really impressed by this as well because it is very similar. I'm just gonna make sure these are nice and tight. Um, now with the RDA, I wanna lower that down just a little bit more. You see how it's still kind of high? I'm just gonna put it down just a little bit more and then we'll finish talking. So bring that down, my OCD, there we go. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, so it's down more. And again, it's not touching. And um, yeah, I didn't get the regular size Faro um, that came out first. Um, this is actually the first Faro RTA that I have other than the RDA. So um, I'm really um, excited to bring this to you so that you can see actually the, um, the way this works and the deck and things like that because I haven't really done a single coil with a clamp style deck like this. So we are gonna go ahead and start firing our coil to make sure that the coil is heating up nicely from the inside out. And I'm just gonna bring this down a little bit. And these are actually made out of, what are these made out of? These are actually two times 26 gauge Nichrome 80 with 36 gauge Nichrome 80 on top. There we go, yeah, very nice. These are my favorite coils. Um, so let's go ahead and start heating this up and I will leave the information for the coils down below if you want to get some if you're interested in them and we're just gonna go ahead and heat these coils up see it's already starting there we go and pinch them a little bit I love these coils I'm telling you let's go ahead and strum them a little bit Jonathan loves when I'm strumming him. <laughs> right, Jonathan? There we go, starting to heat up. Just pulsing, 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 lightly strumming. Go ahead and take it a little bit, move them around a little bit. They're already starting to color. There we go, from the inside out, baby. Almost there. All right. There we go, we've got our coil nice and heated. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get my cotton and then we'll get in right. today for the cotton. As usual, we are gonna be using my Kendo Vape Cotton, the gold edition. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out a piece here. And let's go ahead and take some coffee here. And here we go. Just cut a piece here and turn it around a little bit. Just like to twist it just a little bit and then we'll go ahead and put it in. This is a three millimeter 
um, diameter coil, so we should be able to fit this in just nicely. Let's look through the camera, shall we? And where are my favorite, favorite tweezers ever? There we go. Just need a little bit of help. I'll go ahead and twist and turn. Not too tight, not too loose. There we go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start um, combing it out so we can fluff up the cotton on both sides. There we go. And then get my handy dandy scissors and I'm actually gonna cut it to right about there. And right about there. Okay. Worst case scenario, we just go ahead and put different cotton in. But this should be just perfect. Let's see. If anything, I'll probably take more out. Yeah, I think I'm gonna thin it out just a little bit, or cut it a little, just a little bit shorter. One thing about RTAs that you will notice as you start getting into them is that you literally have to play with them and see what's best for you. Because what's right for me is not necessarily right for everybody, but this is the way that I do it. This is the way that I enjoy it. So this is the way that I actually do it. And we'll go ahead and feel how that feels. Still feels a little bit thick to me. I'm just gonna comb it out a little bit more. I gauge it by the feeling of it as I'm putting it in to see if it's too thick or not. So let's see, nope, oh, that's good right there. It's sitting in there without me having to shove it in and it doesn't feel like it's too far out. So that's good, there we go. And then we'll go ahead and just fluff this one out a little bit more. Take some of that off and put this one in. There we go, yep fits right inside. I'm not shoving, I'm just literally just getting it in the hole. Just laying it there. Really, really nice. Really soft. Yeah, this one just a little bit more. Let's take a little tiny bit more off. I told you it's not rocket science. And especially on camera, it's just a little bit harder because everybody's watching you, watching what you're doing, ready for you to mess up. But it's okay, I don't mind. Constructive criticism is always good. So I've gone ahead and put that in there. I'm just getting these little straggly hairs because I really, that drives me nuts when the stragglies are out. But there you go, so it's not too compact. If you notice, it's really, really thin right here. And really, there goes my little hairs. Oh, really, really thin right here. There's like barely nothing in there. So yeah, so I'm just sitting them down. So of course, today I am going to be getting my all-time favorite e-liquid because I do know the flavor. That's why I really, really like to use this one because it is my favorite flavor. I know it so well. I know exactly what it's supposed to taste like. That's how I gauge the um, flavor from different devices. So we're gonna go ahead and take care of this one. So Strawberry Champagne RKOI by Coil Spill and go just gonna go ahead and prime up my coil i'm gonna try not to get it in the center like i told you we don't want it in the airflow i'm just gonna set it on top i'd rather it drip down the side than in the coil and i do this to make sure that the wicks are actually getting wet within the coil not just on the outside of the coil there we go oh yeah baby i think that's ready to go just gonna make sure these stragglies, I hate stragglies, sorry. It's, it's an OCD thing. You can fast forward through the scraggly part. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just wipe off this juice that I put here on the lip. And we'll go ahead and put the top on. So we've got the top cap right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and screw that on. And then I wanna make sure that the juice flow control, which is right there, is closed off while I go and fill it. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I do wanna test something. There we go, yeah. Because I know that I, I heard somebody say, you know, that, oh, it gets too tight, it gets too tight. So I wanna try that and it seems like it worked okay for me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take off the top here. And we're gonna fill this bad boy up. I am so looking forward to this. I have not had a Ferro RTA and I've been looking forward to it. And this was, um, this was given to me by bradsvapor.com. Um, if you use the code WendyVapes10, it will get you 10% off. And right now this is actually going for $39.99, which is not bad for an RTA. And there we go. I'm just gonna go ahead and open up the juice flow now. 
Just turn it until the cotton is showing. There we go. Got cotton on one side, cotton on the other side. And open up my airflow. And then let's go ahead and go on top and take a vape. Okay, so here we are back on top and we're gonna go ahead and have a vape. Very smooth. I get really, really good flavor and I know exactly what this RKOI tastes like because it is my favorite. Okay, a little bit of information about it. Um, I'm not getting linking right now, but when I did finish wicking it down low, I did have to go back in and put more cotton. So I actually re-wicked it and made the cotton thicker. Um, I did thin it out very little bit, but I did um, go ahead and um, make it thicker because it was leaking. It's not leaking now, um, and it wasn't just the reservoir or right under the coil, it was actually leaking. So I went and I re-wicked it, and I'm getting the bubbles and everything now, and because I guess there wasn't enough cotton. Usually it's, the thing with RTAs that people don't tell you is that it's different in every R RTA. Okay, some you have to actually like put a lot of cotton, some you don't. Um, like for instance, on my Aroma Miser Plus, very little cotton and it wicks fine. Um, that one has been my favorite since February. You just barely like put it in there and it's fine. But this one you do have to put more cotton than I showed you down below. So I just went and I put it in that extra half that I had there. I actually went and put it back in there. I just thinned it out very little just to fluff it up and then I put it in the wicking channels. And so far there is not any leaking at all, um, if you can see. So yeah, it's doing fine now. I know they said this is not a cloud chucker, but I'm sorry, those are a lot of clouds. That's massive clouds, very, very good flavor. I'm getting good clouds, good flavor. I'm gonna actually try that other drip tip. I really like that one though, but I wanna try it with this drip tip, which it doesn't look bad with the red. It's just, I don't know, I really like the other one. Either drip tip is cool. I just like the feeling of this one because it's like literally right around your mouth. So <laughs> right around your mouth, that's where it is. But yeah, this one, it did take me two times to wick it, but at least it wasn't my Griffin. My, when I first got the Griffin RTA last year, I think it was the Griffin 25 or 24 or something. Oh my God, that, that thing, I could not wick it to save my life because you had to barely put it in the wicking channels. But this one, you do want to put it down in the wicking channels and you shouldn't have any leaking as long as you are putting enough cotton in it. And if it doesn't work the first time, it's okay. Go ahead and wick it again. The good thing about these RTAs um, that are made like this is that if you turn it upside down and unscrew it and take it off, your juice does not have to be empty. You can actually re-wick it, you can recoil it and everything without ever um, getting rid of your juice. So I think that that's a huge plus. Um, I do like the fact that it does come with a five milliliter glass and a two milliliter glass. That to me is a plus, plus, plus. Um, the flavor on it, very, very good. Is it the best flavor? No. Honestly, um, the Kenzai, Kenzai, Kenzi, what actually had a lot better flavor in the sense of like, that was like a 10 out of 10. This is like an eight out of 10. So it's not bad flavor, but it's not the best flavor, but it's really, really good. The clouds, love the clouds. I like clouds and flavor, that's me. Um, there's some people that just like flavor. There's some people just like clouds. I like clouds and flavor. That's, that's, my, that's my vaping point. That's what I need in order for me to enjoy my vape. So yeah, I mean, it comes with three drip tips. The only con is the fact that um, it it doesn't have, it's talking about that it's interchangeable, but you can't really find the decks. That's not really a con con for this RTA specifically. Um, personally, I would have liked a different color drip tip. I really don't like that red. I think it's like, it's not even red. It's like really red. Um, if they were gonna put another one, maybe like, um, I don't know, a blue or a, a darker red maybe. A darker red would have looked nice. Um, 
I like the darker red that the bonsai came with. That was really, really cool. Um, but yeah, I like the fact that it's a 24 millimeter. I don't like 22s that much. Um, 24 or bigger is great. Um, again, I can't compare it to the regular Faro RTA because I didn't have that one. But um, yeah, I do like the spring-loaded clamps. That is my favorite, favorite thing of all the Faros is the spring-loaded clamps. I feel like anything with a clamp style deck should have spring-loaded. Um, it just makes it easier to build on. I do like that it's single coil um, and you get great flavor and great clouds. Um, wicks pretty efficiently. Um, it's not in the, with the two milliliter glass, it's not that big. I didn't try it with the five milliliter glass. Um, I'll probably switch it out though, because you know me, I don't like the little bit. I hate filling, filling, filling. That drives me insane. Um, so I'll probably go ahead and switch that out. Um, I might even switch it out on like Facebook live or something. Um, I'll probably do that so that everybody can see how that works. Um, but yeah, so if you, you know, are looking for an RTA that's really reasonable, I mean, $39.99 from bradsvapor.com, awesome pricing, free shipping. Um, he's an awesome, awesome, awesome person. Customer service is impeccable. It does come in silver and black, by the way. Um, and if you use Wendy Vapes 10, you actually get 10% off of your total order. Not just this, but anything that you order, you can get 10% off. Um, RKOI by Coil Spill. I'll go ahead and leave the link down below for the RKOI for Coil Spill. Um, the coupon code is Wendy Vapes 1 and you actually get 20% off. So yeah, you might want to take a look at that. If you're curious about this, strawberry champagne, the best strawberry flavor I've had to date. And I've been vaping this. This month makes one year that I've been vaping this. And I always have it. If you notice, I always have it. It's not that, you know, I'm... I'm a sales girl for, it's, I love this this e-liquid. This is my number one top e-liquid. So yeah, so if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe, subscribe button. Sorry, it's been a really long day. Um, and um, I have all the links down below to all my social media. I'll also have Brad's Vapor down below also with my coupon code, just in case you forget, or well, as long as well as the RKOI and of course don't forget the coil clout um 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 coils I know what I'm trying to say what is my problem today I need another vape I'm telling you clouds it's crazy so yeah until the next one um I guess I'll see you then huh